The Ringe Fire Department and the Police Department serves the community of Ringe all year round, night and day. Since the fire department was formed in the early 1920s and the police department was formed 30 years before that, they have been given updated levels of training and equipment. They have also been working out of the same buildings and over the years they have come under many repairs and multiple problems. Problems including tight quarters and lack of proper space between walls, gear and apparatus. An unsafe police department where criminals are booked in the same area as lockers for officers. Improper storage of evidence. Poor quality of detainment cells. Unsafe storage of weapons. Unsanitary bathroom. And a cramped office for our police officers. Chief Saliki has more. This is the current processing facility that we have now. Um, a booking desk, a computer, a small bench to uh, detain and restrain subjects, and then a small processing area. With a new facility, the separate rooms will be locked and separate, and the booking area will be more secure and more roomy. You'll be able to detain and restrain prisoners. Um, throughout the whole process instead of this holding. is currently our only holding facility uh, that we have it's one cell which um, we don't use that often because the toilet fixtures have all rotted out they, they were replaced about three years ago uh, and since that time have completely rotted out again this is where we keep our currently keep all our storage which is in the hallway which uh, according to code isn't wide enough anymore <laughs> but we have no other place to store anything other than these cabinets. Uh, this is a squad area. Again, you can see there's only two workstations, which is small and cramped uh, on a busy night or on a busy day when you have several offices in here. Not all of them can work on the computers, uh, so it's not cost effective or efficient enough to have that many in the PD. Uh, that's the crawl space that goes to the attic. Uh, we used to house all the files up there, but uh, after the engineers came and looked at the building, to tell us what it was going to cost to repair it, they suggested that we not use it anymore because the rafters were buckling and it was causing stress on the roof and the ceilings, as you can see from the realignment here. So we took all the files down, and now we've had to move them all next door to the fire station. Uh, what we're going to do uh, here is um, to show everybody, um, give an overview of some of the things with the Ringe Fire Department and. Um, the need for a new building. This past summer we painted the sides of the building trying to keep it up. Keep, we, we try to um, fill in some of the cracks in the concrete as you see on the corner of the building here. The, con uh, the brick, a lot of it is spalling and falling apart. Some of the issues that we have with the overhead doors here is if you notice on these black lines coming down, the reason for this is the apparatus is so tall and the doors, in order to get the doors to fit, the, the doors we needed, they had us alter the, the tracks on the, the overhead doors. Um, one of the areas to point out here is this area here. This is a means of egress from the station. And as you can see, we have uh, safety code violations, whereas um, it's a block means of egress. The only way we're going to be able to fix this is to either add on to the building or, again, with the new building. Um, otherwise, we have no other place to safely stow all this equipment. This here is our uh, maintenance room back here. Uh, it's a little overcrowded and packed. However, uh, we do all the maintenance of the, the engines here that we can do inside. Okay, we're back in the apparatus bay. Um, some of the issues we have out here is uh, the floor drains. This is what happens after we come in from the call. The trucks need to be washed. Uh, as you can see, coming 
the trucks, when they're backed in, how tight they are. They're pretty close to the doors, as well as uh, when we get on the other side, we'll show you um, behind the rescue and the, uh, the pumper that we have back there and how tight everything is in here. As far as the construction of the building is, there's no, you're required to have a two hour rating. There's a meeting room, training room upstairs. And between the two, you're supposed to have two hour rating, fire rating. As you can see, we have zero fire rating with the, with the type of construction we have up above. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have Kenny pull out this engine here. Uh, one of the points of interest is the safety issue of guys coming in. This is the only spot we have to stow all of the their protective gear. So as you can see, when they come in for a call, they're in here and they are they're getting dawn in their their gear, standing just several inches away from this truck. Uh, this truck is a second line engine. It is also the truck that is used on all Franklin Pierce um, automatic fire alarms. And this is where we keep a lot of that gear is in here um, so that it's in a secured uh, environment. Um, this equipment uh, should be in a in a control type atmosphere so that it's that it's being protective to the best it can. Um, very again, very expensive equipment to be uh, to have. We so. This is where we try to keep a lot of the spear holes. It doesn't fit out back in that, in, in the, the little shelters out back there. So, um, again, you have uh, uh, issues as far as space. Okay. We're going to head upstairs to the meeting room on the second floor on the new section. This room is used by the Girl Scouts. It's used by the Explorer Post. It is uh, used by the Police Department and the Area Police Chiefs Association. And it's used by the Ringe Fire Department on training and all their meetings get done here. Um, building codes calls for a seven foot six ceiling. As you can see, very shallow, very shell on the height of the ceiling it's six foot six okay now we're in the uh, in the section that was built in second floor of the the section of the building that was built in 19 in the 1950s anyways um, up here we have an area this is here is our medical supply closet uh, so when we come back from a call and we need to we keep some items down in the cabinet downstairs However, we can't keep everything down there, so this is where we, a secondary storeroom. Uh, in the new building, you'll notice that this building will be right off of the apparatus bay, right where the, in the area of the rescue. So people don't have to be coming up and down stairs to, um, to resupply the, the uh, rescue. This is uh, where the fire prevention officer um, plans all his... Um, activities that go down at the school when they're doing fire prevention programs as well as this is where um, a lot of our communications equipment is stowed um, and housed it's uh, these are the repeaters and the equipment used by dispatch downstairs in the duty room is where there is the main base radio but the equipment to run that base radio is right here and this stuff here has to be uh, in the climate control room. That's why you see the air conditioner is still there. Well, this, when this equipment's running, it gets very hot. Uh, it produces a lot of heat. So, um, and if it's not in a controlled environment, uh, you can start having some malfunctions with it. So. <laughs> My name is Tom Horn. I'm a firefighter for the Ringe Fire Department. My name is Tim Labonte. I'm a lieutenant with the Ringe Fire Department. The reason why I believe we need a new station 
is because the one that we're currently in is no longer adequate to meet our needs, uh, not as a department and certainly not as a community. Our station right now has enough room for our apparatus to fit in the station, but there's little room for anything else, uh, not the least of which is the, the membership itself. Certainly when we have a call, trying to put on our turnout gear in a timely fashion, uh, certainly is very cumbersome as we're tripping over each other trying to make uh, a truck in a timely fashion. Certainly we're cramped. We have uh, kitchen facilities that are old and out of date. We have a water supply system that uh, is functional, but uh, certainly not <clears throat> preferable. So, uh, you know, certainly at, at this point, I think that if we are going to grow as a community and to continue to serve this community, we would need the equipment that would allow us to do exactly that. I'm I think the new public safety building is important because of well, all the issues that you've seen in the video or will see in the video. Uh, space is an issue uh, for apparatus as well as personal safety and as an officer that's one of our biggest concerns is making sure that everybody who goes on the truck comes home back from the call and gets back to their family safe. The, Statistics show that more firefighters are injured or hurt uh, right in the station from backing accidents or uh, being hit by a truck backing in or slips and falls or what have you. So, uh, you know, it's an important step for the community. Uh, it gives it room, the department room to grow uh, as the needs of the town become more complex. Mm -hmm.